tongue out tiki head hope y'all enjoyed the video thanks for watching it's part of my tiki head video series chad sexton here section chainsaw carvings coming back with another tiki head got three or four of these videos tiki head videos so try to pick you one out that you like see if you can carve you something set by the pool right there on the front porch cool little items always seem to make people smile Cut down, save a little time. Uh, went ahead and cut the uh, had the eyes, nose, and the forehead out on this one. You can refer back to my just basic ticky head video and uh, see how I did all them cuts exact. Cutting the eye slots out where the cheeks are, forehead, nose. Right now I'm just shaping up the teeth, doing the form of the mouth. On this one, all I do is go around. I don't do the bottom cut for the bottom lips because I want my tongue to come all the way down. Right there, just shaping the teeth up is all I'm doing, getting a basic shape. All right, got them. Make that scribe line, getting your teeth started. There you go. Come straight off center of that nose. Start that first cut on that teeth. Work our way around. In that, dipping it down in just a little bit, getting that separation between the teeth and the tongue, top of the tongue where it pokes out. There it is. Right now, just kind of eyeballing and putting a finger mark on it. The way I want them to go, curve them around, do the same on this side. Try to make a match up the best I can. That's it, go in a little deeper. Start cutting them a little. It's gonna be the basic shape of the tongue. There it is, now we just start putting the shape on it. Start shaping that tongue on out. Working our way around. Keep staying with it. Knocking that little bit of excess off. There it is. That's a little, little division between the tongue right there where you got that little groove in the middle. Hope everybody's doing good today, staying healthy, staying away from the virus. I live in Alabama, so we kind of got a bad weather day today. Hope everybody's safe from that. Right here, we still just shaping our tongue out, getting our basic shape. Keep going down through there, get the shape of that tongue. Putting them bottom teeth on it. Now we'll start putting the bottom teeth on, curving it around. Trying to do a couple of different tiki heads right here. That way, you got like a little video series. You got a basic tiki head, you got a pineapple tiki head, and uh, we got the tongue out. So, we're just trying to have a few different different options. Somebody, if they want to try to carve something, got a few different options, find out which one they want best. So, that's all it is. I just want to give a shout out to all my subscribers. Appreciate y'all subscribing. Right there, got the bottom teeth formed. Got that tongue shaped out. Oh. Right here, I'm just putting lips on it. That's all that is. Making that cut just a little bit off the bottom. Just a little bit, just right there, just coming off the back side. That's going to form the lips. That's it. Knocking that little bit of excess off. Right 
Bark off. Now we just shape him up, knock that bark off, or we see what we got. Little thick heads ain't too bad to carve. Not bad at all. That don't take too long. Using a uh, steel MS-170 chainsaw, basic bar and chain, 16-inch bar. No special carving chainsaws, no special carving bars. You can get it straight off the shelf at a steel dealership. It's going around just tidying up all my little cuts and everything neatened up right there on the bottom. Now we got him on the ground now, knocking all the bark off the top of it. Shaping that head up a little bit, knocking all that bark off. We can see what we got going on now. What the actual meat of that wood is. Just working my way around. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, right here, I just rounded the top of the very top of just rounded that head off just a little bit just adding a little detail to it that's all it is we got the good rough shape going on now just working my way around kind of hanging on that top now there you go let me see how it works That's it. There we go. Not too bad. This didn't take too long. Couple hours. Couple hours on the chainsaw. About 30, 45 minutes on the grinder. Wasn't too bad. This piece of sweet gum wood. Probably about. 10 to 12 inches in diameter. Just in there, just, just tidying all the cuts up now is all we're doing. Just in there, putting a little few last little details we can put on that saw, save a little grinding work. Doing the best we can. You see it. Oh, putting a toothpick on him, cleaning his teeth out. Hmm. Let's see it. Looks pretty good there. A few more little details to go after. The eyes a little deeper, yeah. Just walking around him doing the details. Trying to see what I can do to put the, save any of that grinding work is all I want to do. I ain't got to sit there and grind on it no massive amount. All right, got a grinder out and I'm trying something new. I, uh, got the uh, four and a half inch carbide grinding cup. Had a, uh, that thing worked pretty good there. I do do suggest that you use safety glasses with that. Just like you do with safety, you know, with chainsaw, PVE. But that thing really, it does a trick I'm talking about. It works a lot better than them grinding discs that I use. And uh, it, it shaved off you know, at least half the time on grinding. So I, I really, really, really do like that little thing. I'm going to do a couple more carving and see what I think about it. And uh, see, if, uh, see if it's still, you know, see what kind of longevity I get out of it. And uh, see how it works. But yeah, always just remember your PPE, you know, eye protection, ear protection. Keep, uh, you know, keep your respirator on when you're doing that grinding. Keep your sinus from flaring up. Yeah, well, all we're doing now is just grinding them down, smoothing everything out. Any place I can stick that little grinding wheel, smooth it down, that's what I'm doing. 
Just tidying him up, making it look good. That's all it is. All right, right here, I sprayed just a little, little espresso brown is what it is. Spray paint right there in front of the tongue, kind of give it a little bit of lift, look like it's lifted up. I'll come back and I'll take that grinder. Any overspray that I had, I'll take that grinder and knock it off. Kind of tidy it up just a little bit. Get it off the teeth, get it off the tongue, anywhere I did like that right there. Come back in there, just tidying it up is all I'm doing. All right, we got our uh, timber oil right here. This is teak timber oil. Try to get a couple different colors on this one, see what it'd work out. Closes are pretty, colors are pretty close. Teak and cedar is pretty close. I'm gonna have to try my different color. See what I got, but that's teak. It's just a higher, darker than that cedar. But uh, you can kind of start seeing the shape of the face coming up. I put the cedar on the tongue right there, just to kind of give it a little bit of contrast, make you know, make it look like it's real. I'm putting the clear, clear on there now. That's it, folks. That's the finished product. Got them sealed up, clear on the teeth. Teak brown, teak uh, timber oil on the face, and uh, cedar, you know, cedar timber oil on the uh, tongue. Hope everybody enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. If you don't mind, you know, hit the thumbs up, like, like button, subscribe, and uh, as always, let's carve together. See you on the next one. Thank you.